what's up everyone so it's been a long time since i have done a lua snip video um i've been really busy but today we are going to be talking about post fix snippets now if you haven't watched my other videos about lua snip you can check this play playlist out i'll put the link in the video description below all right first of all let me show you an example of a post fix snippet um these are really popular in rust analyzer the language saver however uh, if you are using Lua language saver, these are available in uh, Lua LS as well. Let me show you an example. Let's say you have a table called test, something like this. Say you want to insert a value to this table, you can do test. At sign, this is the trigger character and you can pick the insert snippet from the menu and it will generate something like this. Uh, say you want to loop through the table, I can do test at IPRs. And it will generate a follow using this uh, variable we had test. Okay. Today, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, call a function, let's say test something like this, and uh, the trigger character is going to be dot var, and this should output something like this: local name equal test. Yeah, the output should be something like this. Okay. Now let's get started. Um, okay. I'll start by creating a post fix snippet. Post fix snippet. Similar to a regular snippet, you'd have the um, trigger character as the first argument, first parameter. Then we could include a bunch of nodes in here. I'm going to include a, uh, let's say, actually, let me just do text. Hello. Okay, let's see. And I'm going to refresh test dot var hit expand character and it will be uh replaced by the word hello because we have this text here okay that's the basic idea now instead of a text node i'm gonna have a dynamic node place all is one and we should have we should pass in a function first parameter i'm gonna ignore second parameter is going to be parent that um, we will use in the future but for now, I'll just return a snippet node because that's something you have to do from uh, doing a dynamic node. Place all is one. If you don't know anything about dynamic node, watch my previous video. I have already explained uh, what dynamic nodes are. All right. From here, I'm going to once again return a text. Once again, it's going to be hello. Refresh and let's do test.var. Once again, it's going to uh replace the value by hello because we are returning hello from the dynamic node okay now instead of this why don't we have a let's say um fmt yeah local then i'm going to create a fail pla uh, placeholder here and um let's say we have some text here full text and we should pass in the replay uh place all the nodes i'm going to pass in one and let's call this name okay good enough if you don't know any anything about these nodes i have already covered these stuff in the previous videos okay refresh then test.var and we have something like this however it's always going to be test so let's say pearl.var it's all less test we should replace this value right here how do we do that now we have um the parameter parent we can use that to get the value um we had prior to the um trigger character okay now instead of this i'm going to um get the value from parent and it should be snippet i wish i, I wish we had uh, auto completion but yeah um snippet and env post fix uh match that is something you have to remember all right now we should be good i'm gonna save refresh and let's try world dot var and expand there we go we have that however let's try a function world a function dot var will it work no why is that 
so by default there is a pattern um the default pattern of a post fix snippet and that does not include the parentheses that's why it's not a match and that's why it's not working okay so we can pass in a custom um custom uh, pattern to do that instead of a string we could pass in a table and we can add a trigger character here like so and we can have the uh, pattern so match pattern equal to all right so here i'm going i'm just going to paste in the default pattern from lua snip see we have regular characters we have um dot underscore um minus sign whatever you call that and in front of that we have the percentage sign because we want to escape these values this is the escape character not the uh, backslash in lua so that's why we have that and here i'm going to include parentheses as well but once again we have to escape these values so i'll add a percentage sign here and here this looks good i'm going to refresh and let's try what am i doing let's try this one more time so world i'm going to call that that dot var and hit expand just like that we have a post fix snippet so yeah that's pretty much it um i mean isn't this the coolest feature ever uh so i hope you create some amazing post fix snippets using um to a snip so thanks for watching have a nice day